Alright, what's going on? It's your boy Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game was good. So I got an email from a subscriber. We're gonna read this and then get into it. It says, is getting married actually worth it? Uh, being a man in America is hard enough, but when you get married, you get more responsibility, more pressure, and less gratitude. From what I see, uh, women benefit from marriage significantly, so it's a no-brainer for them. But for guys, we sacrifice so much financially and emotionally. So you lose coming into it and you lose going out of it. So is it worth it to get married? All right, so for those who don't know, I am married, right? And you know, what I wanna say here is, is, is this, is that if you are thinking about getting married to a chick, right? You have to really know that one, most women are not wifey material. Let's just get this out the way. Let's just keep this 100% real. Most chicks are not wifey material. I'd say maybe two to three percent of chicks out there are wifey material. I'm talking about like a, a, a real wife, like a chick who will actually benefit you in your life. You understand what I'm saying? And I even tell women this is that, you know, if they want to actually get a man and keep a man and actually have a good marriage they have to know how to be a good wife but most women don't know how to do that so with you know with saying that with saying that most chicks aren't you know wife and material the thing is is that if you do get married right you have to make sure that the chick you're marrying is the type of chick who is wife and material but wifey material is actually rare do you understand what i'm saying so i consider my wife wifey material and that's the only reason why I even bother to make it happen. The thing is, for most dudes, I would say don't even bother with, you know, trying to get married to most chicks because it's, it's really not going to be worth it, right? And the thing is, if you are thinking about getting married, you really need to be with a chick for at least five to ten years before you even think about getting married to this chick. You understand what I'm saying? I was with my wife for seven years before we even you know made it happen right now the thing is you know for most dudes i would say it's actually not worth it you understand it's not worth it i'm not exact i'm not telling you guys what to do i'm not telling you you should get married you shouldn't i'm just saying that you know it's really not worth it for most dudes because like i was saying earlier most chicks are not wifey material and if you do get you know married to one of these chicks then your life is not going to be as awesome as you expected because you married a woman who wasn't worth marrying. You understand what I'm saying? And then you're going to go through, you know, all the bullshit. Y'all get divorced and then you got the, the alimony if you got kids, child support and all this other stuff. You understand? And the thing is, what happens is, is some people might say, well, you know, you're married, Mr. Lucario. What if your wife, you know, divorces you and then you got to go through all this other stuff? Now, what I want to say is this, is that most dudes who are married they are they turn into beta male soft pussies you understand what i'm saying so the thing is is that if you're a dude a real man who understands how to interact and deal with women right you'll know how to say okay well i'm gonna make sure i choose the correct type of chick to even stick with you understand and then when you're with her you have this dynamic where you're not the type of guy who's going to sort of give away his you know power to this chick and what I mean by this is if you notice a lot of guys who are married they you know they turn into little soft pussies you understand they they the, the woman starts running their life the the man just sort of like sits there and shuts up and you know he's like you know he's just there uh, being being a fucking soft type of dude you understand so it's like he, he he basically turns into that over time as he gets married so what I'm saying is is that you still have to be masculine and dominant in your situation with your woman and then it's going to be a situation where you're most likely not going to you know run into all these problems you understand so you have to be that masculine dominant man and at the same time choose a woman who is actually wife and material you understand but for most of you guys out there it's not it's like it's not gonna be worth it because most of the chicks that you run into are not gonna be wife and material so I would say you know hang out with these girls have fun, have sex, chill, do and do your thing. And if you do come across a woman who you think might be wife material and you material and you want to stick with her, stay with her for like at least five to ten years. I'm saying before you even think about marriage and all that, because that time span is gonna give you enough time to, to see 
if this chick is really, you know, the type of chick you could actually be with on some other shit. But other than that, you don't really need to get married. You understand? The thing is, let's keep it all the way real. Let's keep it all the way real, okay? Marriage, technically, you know, it, it, it's it's... It's women shit. You understand? It's shit that women want. It's it, a lot of it, like you said in the email, benefits women. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, you know, like me, I don't really care technically about getting married. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I could have just been with my girl and then, you know, till I die, it doesn't really make a difference to me. You understand? But for women, women like all that shit because they, you know, they, they, they expect the benefits and all this other stuff. And me in particular, my situation was sort of, um, you know, a, a different situation than most other guys because me and my girl, me and my wife, we actually, uh, there's a lot of stuff that we went through, a lot of stuff that she helped me with, a lot of stuff that I helped her with. So we had this history of understanding and, you know, what it is that we do for each other. You understand? We understand what, you know, we, we bring together. But in a lot of these situations, guys meet some chick, they get married with her like six or seven months later or a year later. They don't really know this girl. You know, they, they, they get married because they're pressured into it and all this other garbage. You understand? And then they end up, you know, divorcing this chick, having kids with her, all this other drama, and it's just it's nonsense. You understand? So, I'm not telling you not to get married. I'm not telling you to get married. I'm telling you just to understand what's really going on out here and, you know, what you're going to have to deal with in certain situations and then you make the right choice for you. And I'm, and I'm saying that if you do decide to get married, if that's your thing, stay with this chick for five, at least five to ten years first, you know, live with her for a while, if you know, see how that goes before you get married and understand that. You know, finding that type of girl, finding that type of woman, dude, it's, it's, it's rare. You understand? Because you want to, if you're going to be in a marriage situation, you want that shit to be good. You want to be, you know, enjoying yourself in your marriage. You don't want it to feel like it's killing you. It's killing your soul and all this other stuff. The thing is, is that, you know, a lot of people out here get married, but a lot of people don't have good marriages. My fucking phone is... A lot of people don't have good marriages. You understand? It's like, and it, it is rare for you to actually have that good marriage because you have to actually meet the chick that is actually the type of girl who will be the type of woman that can do that, can, that can actually provide that experience. And most of them won't. Most of them can't. You feel what I'm saying? So a lot of guys are marrying women who they shouldn't have been married to in the first place, which is why they're in the situations that they're in. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's a rare thing. It's kind of like, you know, like people always ask me, oh, should I get married? You know, should a guy get married and all this other stuff? And it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a hard question to answer because there are situations where the marriage could be good, but it's so rare. It's kind of like someone saying, hey, you know, should I be... Uh, you know, uh, do you think I should try to be a, a, a super famous rapper? I want to be the next Drake or the next Jay-Z. I'm like, yeah, you could. I'm not saying you can't make it, but it's going to be rare that you're going to be in that situation. You feel what I'm saying? So it's the same thing with the marriage thing. It's like, should you get married? You could, but it's going to be rare that you're going to actually find a woman who is marriage material and who will be a good, you know, chick to marry. You feel what I'm saying? So... You guys, you know, make your choice. Be careful, you understand? Oh, man, and, and you know, and, and make that happen, all right? So that's it, guys. I'm out of here. It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. Make sure you click the link below and send me your questions, and I'll talk to you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace, I'm gone. All right, now before you click off this video, I need you to do three quick things. First, I need you to click the link below to send me your questions, because if you have any questions, I'll answer them in a video. Two, click the link under that to get my free ebook, The Magnificent 10 Crucial Dating Tips for Men, it gives you 10 tips on how to attract beautiful women. And number three, I want you to click the link under that to go to badboymembership.com, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video tutorials every month. 
Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.